Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And the rest today's quiz question was to name the mission that in 2014 India supplied drinking water to Maldives to deal with the drinking water crisis in Maldives. And the answer is, as many of you have rightly commented, it is Operation Nir. So let's start today's session. First question is with reference to Asian Infrastructure Investment Bank (AIIB). Consider the following statement. Statement one: It is initiated by BRICS countries. Statement two: It is headquartered in Beijing. And statement three: It is also called as Asian Development Bank. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A one and two only. Option B two only. Option C two and three only. And option D three only. So guys, the correct answer here is it is option B two only. The AIIB is a multilateral development bank with a mission to improve social and economic outcomes in Asia. It is headquartered in Beijing and began its operations in January 2016. It is established by a multilateral treaty with 57 founding members. The members to bank have now grown to 97 approved members worldwide now. And the AIIB is actually a brainchild of China. The prime aim of AIIB is infrastructure development. by establishing interconnectivity across asia through advancement in construction of infrastructure and other productive services the aiib can stimulate growth and economic development in asian region and adb which is asian development bank all together is a different bank and this was in news india recently sought 6 billion dollars of loan from aiib and adb to combat covid-19 and the central government is in talks with AIIB and uh, ADB to secure these loans to further the testing and uh, infrastructure facilities in the country so that was in news we'll now move to second question second question is round tripping often seen in the news is related to option a satellite launching technique option b border patrol option c black money and option d immunization program so guys the correct answer here is It is option C, black money. Round tripping is a money laundering and tax evasion technique. The term round tripping is self-explanatory. It denotes a trip where a person or a thing returns to a place from where the journey began. And in the context of black money, black money leaves the country through various channels such as inflated invoices, payments to shell companies overseas, hawala route, and so on. And after some time. getting rolled in overseas market for a while this black money returns to origin in a freshly laundered form thus completing a round trip so that is round tripping and this route is far from simple or straight forward those indulging in this game are past masters who make the money flow through multiple layers consisting of many entities and companies and this money returns to india it could be invested in offshore funds that in turn invest in indian assets and the global depository receipts gdr and participatory notes p notes are some of the other routes that have been used in the past to return the black money in india and guys our today's quiz question is regarding participatory notes only the participatory notes or p notes are issued by who so please identify that and post your answers in the comment section we will now move to last question for the day With reference to cytokine storm syndrome recently seen in the news consider the following statement statement 1 it is characterized by over production of immune cells and statement 2 it can cause potential damage and leads to death which of the above statements is are correct option a 1 only option b 2 only option c both 1 and 2 and option d neither one nor 2 so guys the correct answer here is both the statements are correct so it is option c both 1 and 2 So guys the cytokines are inflammatory immunological proteins that are there to fight off infections and ward off cancers and the release of inflammatory mediators increases the blood flow to the area which allows large number of immune system cells to be carried to the injured tissue thereby aiding the repairing process thus inflammation has an important protective function however if this inflammatory response is not regulated very dangerous consequences can follow this is when a cytokine storm can be triggered
A cytokine storm center is characterized by overproduction of immune cells and the cytokines themselves because of dysregulation in this process and a cytokine storm can occur due to an infection, autoimmune condition when the body's immune system attacks healthy cells and signs and sym symptoms of cytokine storm are high fever, inflammation that is redness and swelling, severe fatigue and nausea and in the case of any flu infection, a cytokine storm is associated with a surge of activated immune cells into the lungs which instead of fighting off the antigen leads to lung inflammation and fluid buildup and respiratory distress and a severe immune reaction leading to the secretion of too many cytokines into the bloodstream and it can be harmful since an excess of immune cells can attack healthy tissues as well and the damage to the surrounding cells can be catastrophic leading to sepsis and potentially death and this was in news related with COVID-19. Some research suggested, suggested that COVID-19 might induce cytokine storming some patients. So that was in news. So that's it. That's all for today, guys. We'll meet tomorrow with another set of questions. Please post your answer to the quiz question and your scores in the comment section. Thank you for watching.